Are EMFs real? Why just run to these two meters and in this video, we'll find out. You can't see them, you can't hear them, you can't taste them or smell them. Most people can't even feel them. So what's the big fuss about electromagnetic frequencies or EMFs? Well, I've written a whole post about it. I also have a video on them. I'll have links to that in the video description below. But the short story is they have been linked to some pretty scary stuff like cancer. And in some European countries, they're more conservative with their use in places like schools. Now, my husband, Michael, and I are about to purchase a lot to build a house. So this is obviously a big financial decision. So I rented these two meters so that I could test it, you know, for crazy power lines or like a cell phone tower that's super close by or ancient graveyards. I don't know. Now, fortunately, our lot tested out very well, so we're excited we're gonna move forward with this project, but I also thought it would be fun and educational to test other things around the house. Okay, let me tell you about these meters first. This one measures ELF and VLF from power lines, electrical wiring, appliances, and so on. This one measures radio frequencies from cell towers, cell phones, Wi-Fi routers, microwave ovens, and things like that. Right now my Wi-Fi is off. This is our router here. And Michael and I actually use a wire connection when we work, but there are times that we wanna use Wi-Fi, right? So I'll show you kind of before and after. So here's our little tester. Let's turn it on. And um, let's just let it kind of sit here for a minute. So this is great, right? Super low, easy peasy, there you go. But now watch, when I put on the wireless, you can see that things change. Okay, now you see the numbers going up significantly. We're getting to the red zone. Now we're plus six, it's above six. It, it can't even measure it on this machine anymore. So to be sitting here working all day with your Wi-Fi on probably isn't the best idea. Um, now watch, if I move away from the router, it is going to drop. So now we're going down to the fours, um, getting down to the threes. Okay, so here I am sitting in another room with my Wi-Fi on, but I'm away from the router. And you can see it's still pretty angry. It's still, you know, peaking at different moments, going up into point sevens. Now let's talk about everyone's favorite accessory, which is their phone. Uh, this is the iPhone 7. I remember when I got this, I was like, dang, this thing is strong. I could just tell. Uh, so let's just test it with our meter here and see how it does. Okay, as you can see, it goes up to six. You know, it's pretty strong. If I'm checking my f email here, it's, it's pretty powerful. So think about this, where this is on us all day long. We're checking email all day long. And this is at levels that can cause serious health issues. So if you're carrying your phone, keep it on airplane mode as much as possible. If you have to turn it on, put it in your purse, put it in your briefcase, put it someplace off of your body. And when you're making phone calls, use speaker function or use a headset or better yet, text. So here we are in airplane mode and it's calm, it's quiet. It's below 0.02, it's great. Now let's test just some everyday household items. Here are some electric toothbrushes. One is my husband's, which is heavy duty, and one is mine, a little bit smaller. Um, we're gonna test the EMFs on this thing. Uh, so as you can see, very low, not much going on. They're both turned off. Now when I turn mine on, we see that it stays low. Not a big deal, okay? Now when we turn my husband's on, you can see this thing goes nuts. Um, and the reason why is because it's a Bluetooth. Okay, now let's check hair dryers. So I've got two here. One is the super cheap standard hair dryer, and this is a fancy low EMF one that was about double or triple the price. So let's turn on our machine here, and let's start with the cheap one. So let's say that's about 100. Now let's test our low EMF one. Go on high. So let's try it now with the hot air. Wow. So basically, if you're going high heat, you're going to be frying more than just your hair. Okay, here I am in my sauna, and one of the selling points of this thing is that it's non-toxic and low EMF, and I'm happy to report that it actually measures that way too. Okay, here I am in a neighborhood in front of some houses, and the power lines are actually buried underground because of the hurricanes and the tornadoes down here. Uh, and so let's just take a look at the reading. Um, so you can see in terms of the EMFs, you know, that's kind of high, but not crazy either. Now I'm by this electrical box where some of the wiring is more concentrated, and as you can see, you're gonna have a lot higher reading. 
So the readings over in that neighborhood were nothing compared to this reading underneath power lines. I want to close this video out with this sentiment. We live in the digital world. We're not turning back. I don't expect anyone to live in a bubble. I'm not going to. I love my iPhone. Um, but the point is we can make these devices safer and we can make our homes safer. And it really is actually quite simple. So I have a free download that you can get on your computer and it will teach you simple tips and tricks to offset your risks. Things like turning your Wi-Fi off at night, different baby monitors that are better than others, or how to use your cell phone safely. So be sure to grab it. I'll have a link to it in the video description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.